I would say that what is happening now is bad enough uh, to Ukraine. Uh, violations of its uh, borders, the illegal annexation of a large chunk of its territory that had previously been uh, guaranteed by four uh, nuclear powers uh, in 1994 in the Budapest Memorandum. So, so bad is already happening, but uh, as the Americans say, never miss a good crisis. Uh, I think some good can come out of, uh, of, of this bad uh, situation. Nation building is already happening uh, because of the crisis. It had happened earlier too, but now it has accelerated. In so far now, a very large chunk of the Russian-speaking Ukrainians are also becoming more conscious and uh, strong patriots than they had been earlier. And when it comes to state building, the best that could happen is that uh, this very kleptocratic state that had been built in the last quarter of a century will be reformed into something uh, more reminding the reforming East European countries. Today it's very unlikely to, to even imagine a, uh, a democratic uh, Russia and uh, uh, law-abiding uh, uh, Russia, but actually I agree with the implicit uh, tenet of the question that it is possible and the interesting thing is that the current uh, rulers are uh, waging this hybrid war against Ukraine par partially because uh, they are afraid of uh, democratizing Russia. Let's not forget uh, the uh, huge uh, demonstrations in the winter of 2012 after what many people uh, deemed as uh, 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 stolen elections. Russia could uh, democratize even if today the psychology, the social psychology in Russia is really terrifying. There is a, an official enormous warmongering and uh, there is popularity to this, to this very aggressive uh, propaganda but it can change pretty quickly. And uh, of course, if that happens, it, would, it will not happen very soon, but it, it would be a fantastic news for uh, Ukraine. And by the way, earlier, uh, Russia was doing more economic and state reforms than Ukraine. But it also works the other way around, that if Ukraine succeeds, that is the best uh, thing that can happen to a healthy social evolution in Russia. First of all, Ukraine is a, is a democratic country. Uh, it had a presidential election, very democratic, last year, in the time of uh, outside aggression against the country. And then it had, in November, a parliamentary election in the period of even deeper uh, outside aggression against the country. So it is a democracy. The big question in Ukraine is not about democracy in the short run, but if uh, reforms can establish the rule of law. It's, as I said, a very kleptocratic uh, state structure where uh, uh, many, many vertical parts of the state are totally uh, uh, infected. Uh, if you are a policeman, probably you, you bought your your uh, position. If you are a customs officer, most probably you bought your position and then you use the position to extract money from, uh, from others as well as to pay up, upwards. And the higher up you are in these uh, hierarchies, the higher you pay. So these are very, very sick uh, state organization. That is one of the main reasons why Ukraine was not able to to withstand the Russian aggression on its uh, territory. And, um, and therefore, the reform of these, uh, these state structures uh, to really build a real state rather than a kleptocratic one is extremely important. And this is uh, ahead of us. It's, uh, I think we have good chance. We have now the most uh, uh, reformist government Ukraine has ever had. Uh, and, um, and if uh, these reforms happen, even 70%, we can never be maximalist, there's a good chance that it sustains democracy. 
On the other hand, if, if reforms don't happen, it may cost very, very, very dearly to Ukrainian state and Ukrainian democracy.